Hi Cancer and welcome to your Committed Couples Tower reading for November 2017. This reading is intended for all of you that are in a committed relationship and that commitment is agreed to and understood on both sides. If you're just kind of casually dating somebody and there's no real commitment, go ahead and check out the dating singles video I uploaded as that will resonate with you more than this will. This is intended for those of you who are together. You could have just recently gotten in a commitment or you could be married for a while. You know, this is general. So it will be different for everybody. And saying that, I want to really iterate that I'm looking at all of the energy for cancer, not any particular one storyline. So this is going to resonate for some, but it's not going to resonate for all. And there's, unfortunately, there's nothing I can really do about that since this is just a general overall tower read for cancer couples, okay? So with that said, let's look at um, the overall energy for you guys, you committed cancers for November 2017. Getting to know each other. All right, so right off the bat, if you just got into a committed relationship, um, I don't think you and this person knew each other for very long. It's like you're really getting to know them. Also, if you have been together for a bit, um, there's like a new element, a new side to the relationship that you didn't see before. Perhaps um, your partner is becoming more vulnerable or, or you're becoming more vulnerable in front of them. Um, if you've been together for quite some time, this here could be talking about maybe you guys are getting to know each other on a new level in a new way, but also you guys could... Uh, be joining like a new group or um, get meeting each other's families. It's something like that. There's an element of newness with that card of getting to know each other where something you didn't previously know about your partner becomes uh, seen and vice versa. And, you know, this is general, so that could go for the good or the bad. And that's why I'm going to pull more tarot cards to get further clarification of what that means. Okay. <clears throat> so we have the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Very interesting. The King of Cups reversed. And then the Eight of Wands. All right, so this is water energy, so this could definitely be talking about you, Cancer. What I see here is something that you gave up on and you were not happy about having to give up on that. Um, there's new life in it. There's new communication. This, uh, perhaps um, you had an idea or you wanted to... Basically, this here is whatever you were working on or really hoping for, it's like it didn't pan out and you kind of gave it up and you were mad about it. And it could be because of your partner. Maybe your partner didn't um, agree with it or wasn't on board with it or um, may, perhaps you guys were trying to start a business or you're trying to pursue like a creative talent of yours and um, maybe like it just wasn't bringing the money in and you've been really worried about it but the first two weeks of November there's um, opportunity there's new life into something there's new energy and there's a lot of it it's quite abundant so Things definitely uh, turn around the first two weeks of November, especially something you thought you had to give up on, okay? Oh, wow, look at that. And now we have the Queen of Cups 
she's upright here we have our couple very strong reading if you're with a fellow water sign so emotions are balanced um, we're feeling very intuitive very creative very nurturing very loving very sweet very soft energy as we move into the middle of um, November and then we have this five of Pentacles so let's see what comes after that in faith okay so for some of you since this is a general reading I think there was a job loss that took place um, just at the like in October or, or just entering November there was a job loss for some of you and um, November your main focus is going to be like this is uh, representing job interviews sending out resumes things like that getting to know each other like you're you're doing a lot of job interviews or you know this could be what your partner is experiencing like there could have been a loss of job for them and that this is them trying to get back in the job market um, but definitely uh, because we have this five of coins sitting next to this queen of cups and faith I think that whoever lost a job if that's resonating with you there's an element of feeling worthless and like less than yourself because of it like it, it hits you really hard or maybe it's been a while since you've been out of work and you're just like hoping and praying because money's getting a bit tight and um, you're like asking for a miracle but you know with this right here that's really nice energy that's opportunities coming in for some of you if that if it's a job situation um, this I, I don't because um, we have an upright queen and then a reverse king I don't feel as though whatever this issue is is like mainly like between you and your partner um, you know it's like if finances are tight that is affecting you both okay but that's not like a real issue that you have about your partner or they have about you it's just a circumstance of the relationship at this time so I don't feel as though this is about you and your partner having friction. There's something else going on. A job loss, um, an unexpected bill maybe, or maybe you've been working really hard at something and it's just not paying off. There's just some element of feeling lackful and like you have to give up on something you worked really hard at or something you were a part of for a long time. It's like it's just not coming into fruition as you'd hope and then all of a sudden here's this new <clears throat> energy uh, followed by the faith card which is quite divine if you ask me it's like at the 11th hour here comes your miracle you know that's just how I I am like seeing it so let me take a look at the gypsy cards Yeah, so here's misfortune, service, and thief. So definitely could have been a job loss, big time here, okay? And that's just your primary focus. And But like I said, it's going to work out November. By the end of November, it looks so good. Um, others of you, this could be as though something... Um, like maybe something was stolen from you guys or um, you could have had a issue with your house like some sort of misfortune but um, whatever that energy is for you it is improving by the end of the month okay it looks really good and um, one of you in your partnership looks like they're you know okay and they're being supportive and trying to keep it together and the other person is just really beside themselves and sad so you know cancer maybe um, 
everything is okay, but some like personal goal or hobby that your partner was trying to achieve, like it just didn't work out or, you know, somebody stole something or it just didn't pan out and it's really heavy on your partner and you're doing your best to be there and, you know, things just kind of work out at the last minute, even though it's unexpected. Yes, yes. Loyal heart. So for you guys, Cancer, whatever's going wrong, I don't feel like is going wrong between you and your partner. If anything, you guys are being very supportive and loving of each other. And that's what's getting you through. And it's definitely going to work out at the end of November. Okay, just hang in there. These cards look great. So um, even if this isn't about a job or a loss of a house or something being stolen from you, um, I don't really see anything about health here, that, but this is a general reading. It's like whatever misfortune is playing out um, external to your relationship but affecting it internally is going to be... Uh, rectified by the end of November and your love and support of each other are, is truly what's going to get you through so don't be afraid don't be negative everything's going to work out great at least the way these cards are reading so that's what I have for you cancer committed couples I hope that that did offer you some guidance and some hope and don't lose heart just hang in there it's all going to work out great have a very fabulous month. Take care.